the news. Tomorrow's headlines today. Good afternoon, Klamath Basin. It's Monday, June 11th, 2018. I'm Kurt Lidke with the Herald and News. Here's a preview of stories that you can find in tomorrow's edition of the Herald and News. These are tomorrow's headlines today. Sky Lakes Medical Center is planning to offer special community courses to help train people on how to help save trauma victims. Referred to as Stop the Bleed, OHSU MD candidate Jacob Weber taught the medical center's first course last Friday, which included how to properly cover large wounds and wrap tourniquets around a victim's limbs to help apply pressure and stop blood flow in the event of a serious injury. Stop the Bleed courses are part of a nationwide effort between Sky Lakes, Oregon Health and Science University, and several other medical centers across the U.S. to help bolster life-saving practices across communities. Sam Hirsch tied Klamath Falls' record with a six-inning relief performance, an effort which helped the Gems to a 6-3 victory at Medford on Sunday at Harry and David Field. Hirsch, who's from Newman University in Kansas, became the third Gems pitcher to go six innings in relief, and his effort Sunday saw him allow only one run, walk a batter, and strike out seven as he lifted his season record to one and one. The win also allowed Klamath Falls to even its season series with Medford at two wins apiece. Friends, families, and others packed into the Ross Raglan Theater on Sunday for the graduation of 46 Eagle Ridge High School students. This was the school's largest graduating class to date. Evan Mortensen, a teacher at Ponderosa Junior High, was the keynote speaker during the commencement. The Ross Raglan event was one of many different graduation ceremonies that took place for high schools across the Klamath Basin. KCC and Oregon Tech will host their graduations later this week. Also later this week, look for an update on Klamath Union renovations as construction shifts towards moving modular buildings off-site and moving equipment back into the academic building next week. And those are just a few of the stories that you can find detailed in the Tuesday, June 12th Herald and News. Be sure to follow us online via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, and of course, heraldandnews.com. You can also subscribe to our podcasts on iTunes and Google Play. Be sure to check back each day for the latest podcasts, videos, and breaking news impacting the Klamath Basin, and thanks for listening.